So now you come home and you see that he has painted the fence that faces his property a color that you didn't like. And what do you do? I went over to his house, went inside his house. Just after... a second. Let's do this slowly. You went to his house. I went to his house. Was his door open? The front door was open. The screen door was closed. Did you ring a bell? No, he saw me coming. Just, uh, don't tell me what he saw. Did no. you ring a bell? No. Did you knock at the door? No. Did someone say, come in? Yes. Who? He did. And his helper there. So you she stood actually out... opened the door for me to come in. Is that correct? Yeah. You're his home health aide? Yeah. I'm with him. Do you live together or are you his aide? No, we're, we're, we're good friends. Okay. So she let you in. And where was he when she let you in? He was sitting on his couch on the end of the couch. And what did you do? I stood back away from him at least How eight far feet. Away? I was at least eight feet away. The coffee table and the living room distance was between me and him. I just stepped in through the door. And? And I pointed my finger at him like this and raised my voice and told him how mad I was and upset. And I oh, said, I want you to tell me exactly what you said. I said, I am so upset with you right now, Ron. I just don't know what to do. The only recourse I'm going to have is to take you to court. And? and he started calling me a son of a... And I turned around and left. As I got about three feet away from the front door, he still was calling me a son of a and told me he was going to get even with me and take care of me. Well, I already know that he has a history. No, no, no. Okay. Don't tell me so, what you know. So you said. So knowing that he has a rifle standing at his door, I turned around and went back in and I said, are you going to threaten me? No, no, no. Just a second. Now you're almost out the door. And when you went back in, where did you go back in? I went back in about three or four feet closer to him. So now, there was a coffee where table you were between eight us. feet away when you were pointing your finger at him. No, I wasn't pointing my finger at him no, that no, time. No, when you were... Pay attention. When you were eight feet away from him and pointing your finger at right. him, you were eight feet away. Right. Now... He says, I know, whatever, and you know he's got a rifle, and you know. So then you turned around and came back and went closer to him. Yes, ma'am. So now, instead of being eight feet away, you're three feet away. No, I was about four feet away. Now you're four feet away. This it does is make not a difference, Your Honor. Four feet. So now you're four feet away. So what's separating you from where the defendant is sitting on the sofa? The corner of his coffee table. And then? Well, first he repeats what I am again, and I said, you'd better stop saying that. You're not insulting me. You're insulting my mother. Oh, and I'm get not over. gonna put up with that. I'm sorry, Your Honor, that's why I was raised. Come on, let's go. So let's I don't believe that because I read your answer. But now are you telling me that the soda can... Pay careful attention because I have what you wrote. And uh, now are you telling me that the soda can hit you in the chest? Be careful what you answer because you already made one mistake in what you wrote. Are you telling me now that the soda can hit you in the chest? Yes, ma'am, it did. It's in the police statement. That's what I said. 